what's going on? I don't know if anybody else went through this over the last year or so. You know, I, again, I know a lot of people don't like busting boxes or blaster boxes in this case. Um, but I don't know if anybody else went through this where there really was not, at least in my like local stores, a lot of inventory. Um, of course, whether you heard about it or not, you know, Target, they had the big incident where some knucklehead pulled a gun on somebody else and they were fighting over sports cards or Pokemon cards, whatever it was. And <clears throat> so tar Target... For, for the longest time just quit carrying cards and then they would have them and then they had limits on them point is uh, I went quite a while without being able to open cards um, and so today I went to the store to pick up a few things and lo and behold they had a couple blaster boxes of tops archives 2021 uh, which I, I do enjoy every maybe every other year maybe every two years or so I, I will splurge and get a uh, hobby box um, but I, I enjoy it because like for instance here there's a good mix uh, that's a very bright yellow but that's uh, Honus Wagner uh, you know in the what is this I guess 83 top style uh, you know and then they I don't know I, ju I just really like it the the, the different uh, versions, you know, like here's a, a Gary Sheffield, you know, um, I think, I think it's a pretty cool, uh, product. I never do build a set, although it would be a pretty cool set to build, I think, but, uh, there's a nice Joe Morgan, uh, Adrian Beltre, which I think will be a Hall of Famer, no doubt. Um, here's a Jared, uh, Kellenic, Kellenic, however. he's a guy that the Mets traded to get Robinson Cano and um, uh, Edwin, what's his name, the guy that blows all the freaking say, he drives me crazy. Um, me, so, uh, anyway, you know, hope everybody's been doing good. I haven't really um, made a whole lot of videos here lately. So this is pretty cool. I like to see stuff like this. 91 tops with Lou Gehrig. Even has the uh, tops, you know, the 40 on there from 91. Really like that. Um, again, not not expecting you know craziness out of this, but you know, just some cool inserts to uh, to store away in the old collection. Blake Street Bombers. This is Dante Bichette, Andres Galarraga, and Larry Walker. It's pretty cool. Here's a nice foil, Mr. McCutcheon. Oh, let's see, Ozzy Albies in the 2011 style, and then the future. <laughs> I like these, like Don Drysdale. This is pretty interesting. I have had some luck in the past with uh, retail um, Topps archives, you know. Um, I did just pick up a PSA 10 uh, Bowman Chrome of this fellow, Jonathan Indian. He was the rookie of the year. Uh, I thought he did pretty well. The few the few um, Reds games I did get to see, um, he did he did. I mean, uh, rookie of the year, so he, you know, but uh, he he did really well. Um, so I thought, you know, why not jump out ahead? And I, I try not to prospect too much. Um, but you know, you try to try to get out ahead of some of these guys. You know, hopefully he ha continues to play well. There's a nice Sandberg there. Oh boy! Oh, I remember this man, the big three back in the day. You see Mark Mulder, Barry Zito, and Tim Hudson. Tim Hudson is uh, being talked about. You know, maybe for. Maybe, maybe Hall of Fame. Who knows? You know, I mean, he definitely had a great career. I look, find, you know, he finally got over 200 wins. And that's awesome. And he's from around here too. I think he's from Mobile, uh, kind of right down the road from where I live. So he's nice. 
uh, Willie Stargell, Johnny Bench. Again, nice 91 tops there. Oh, boy. Josh Donaldson. Pretty cool. He actually played here local where I live. Uh, and War Eagle, baby. Went to Auburn. Great guy. A great player. I don't know if he's a great guy or not. <laughs> he has a, a very, very uh, easy temper on that fella. There's a nice John Smoltz. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, Tony Gwynn. Very nice. Another Kalenic. Oh, man. I don't know enough about these rookies, uh, but here's a nice Stan the Man. Let's see. We got Al Kaline and Eddie Matthews. These future cards are pretty cool. Again, nice Hall of Famers there. I don't know enough about uh, Yerman uh, Mercedes here. And then, uh, obviously, love this guy. Brandon Crawford, I think he's an amazing, amazing shortstop. Great player. Has been for, for 10 years now. He's awesome. Looks like the Giants were on their way back to, a, to another good playoff run. Um, I think they kind of got screwed there. Uh, there's a nice Kershaw. Pedro in the Expos Uni. Very nice. And again, it's just, I love the mix here. So you get a nice Vladdy Sr. Oh, and a Bobby Dahlbeck. Hear his name a lot with the uh, Red Sox fans. 2011 style rookie card. Bobby Dahlbeck. So I'm not really sure if um, these archives if there are relics or anything to be on the lookout for us nice Willie Mays uh, Javi Baez Aroid uh, so so here we go so Todd Helton is getting a lot of talk about maybe making the Hall of Fame um, and then I'll, people are weird because then they'll just they'll immediately discredit and say well he played at Coors Field Look, you, you still got to hit the damn ball, right? You still got to hit the ball where they're not. I mean, how many guys have played at Coors Field and, and didn't have a good career? All right, so let's take it easy there. There's nice Willie Mays and, and Ricky. I think Ricky would approve of Ricky, right? So I don't know. It, it's just such weird arguments that, that people make for the Hall of Fame. Baseball's Hall of Fame is so much weirder than any of the other leagues um nice Cronenworth there another Kellenic. uh ta -ta -ta. nice Jim Palmer I believe that's the uh, 01 style again another see I mean Look how many rookie... That's like three different variations of his rookie card just in this one set. Uh, so here's a nice... Uh, Fergie. Then we get a Clemente, which is always nice. Again, 2011. And then... the In the future... The Killa. Alright, let's see. Nice uh, Acuna. I'm sure he'll be back in full force next year after blowing his knee out. Aaron Judge. Nice guy here. Walker Bueller. Good pitcher. Let's see. We got Aloy Jimenez. speaker and Rod Carew again it just feels nice to bust packs again 
you know, who knows how long. <laughs> Uh, I started actually going to Walmart more. I, I try to avoid my local Walmart. Um, I'll maybe save this story for another time, but almost getting into a fight with a toothless, shoeless, um, and mostly shirtless guy. Um, I, I stopped going there. But they have, uh, over the last few days, I have noticed that they have had more product. Eddie motherfucking Murray than, you know, again, Target, which is where I was going. Um, so, I, I just, uh, you know, it, I get kind of nervous going there is all. So here's a nice Casey Mize, again, War Eagle, baby. I like it. So we got a Randy Johnson. And again, most of all these cards, I'm going to end up just, you know, sliding into penny sleeves and putting them away. I, I just, I really enjoy base cards. Uh, and, and I think Archives is a, is a pretty good set here, especially seeing nice George Springer and then uh, Trey Mancini balled out at the uh, Home Run Derby. Um, just seeing all the different players on, on, on different card styles, I think, is, is pretty cool. Uh, Akil Badu is a name I, I heard quite a bit last year for the Tigers. My favorite heel in baseball, Joey Votto. He is awesome. There's some funny, funny compilations of him on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> look at the stash, man. I used to love this guy, Juan Gon. We got Freddie Freeman. Matt Chapman, Alec Bohm, Schwarber, and then lastly, a Wiggity, Dave Winfield. All right, man. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, I certainly did. Got a lot of, I mean, got a lot of cards here to add to the old collection. So, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy and bust packs if you can find them.